I'm Larry Puckett, the DCC guy. Today, I want to take you through the whole process uh, using a section of track on my layout where we will apply the ballast, add the glue, let it dry overnight, and then uh, do some touch-up work on the shoulders. So if this is what you've been looking for, it's finally here. I had hoped to have it in, in part two, but it just got too long and I decided it would be better to, to cut it into a third uh, video in this series. So let's get started, but not first before reminding you, hit the subscribe button. At this point, I've uh, been looking at the analytics that YouTube provides and it tells me that uh, only 60% of you are actually subscribers to the site. So the other 40% of you who are watching the videos but haven't bothered to subscribe, please consider go ahead and do it and uh, put us over a thousand. Uh, that would be a good way to end the week. Uh, so let's get started then with the uh, ballasting demonstration. Okay, here we are on the Piedmont Southern layout. I'm going to ballast this section of track right through here. And uh, this is outside the yard, but it's on the main line, so I'm going to use that nice gray ballast that we looked at in the, uh, in the earlier videos. So I've already preloaded the Bachman uh, spreader, so let's um, open her up and we should be good to go. Here we come around and we have a nice even ballast job there. Now, uh, I showed you this smaller brush that I use. I also have a, a larger fan brush and uh, sometimes that works to help spread everything at the same time. You notice I'm catching that shoulder as well now. Because of the slope there, we're not going to be able to catch it all at one time. So it's going to take a couple of different applications of ballast to build up and do that entire shoulder. So I won't be able to show you all of that today, but I think this pretty much conveys the idea of where we're going. Let me get that out of the web of the rail there. There. Get that in here. To that area. And we'll bring it on around this way as well. So it gives it a nice smooth ballasted appearance. And I'll, like I said, I'll come back later and once this application dries, I will add more. So you're actually going with the actual sh slope uh, that uh, gravity dictates um, in this process. I also have a number of these um, other brushes that you can that I use to work in ballast once I finish with the uh, the fan. So that helps to kind of get it out of the web of the rail. I don't like having ballast in the web of the rail simply because it interferes, or it can any, interfere with the flanges on your, uh, on your rolling stock. Okay, so there, that's ready. Let's get the alcohol out, and I'm going to use um, my trusty transfer pipette, just fill that up since I'm doing such a small area here. And then we're just going to flow it on. You don't want a ton of it at one time because if you do, it will tend to float ballast up above the ties and then you'll end up with it getting in the way later. Okay, so I'm going to bring that up and get some more. And just come around flowing that out. And it will, as you can see, work its way out underneath of the rail and start to flow down the slope. You can see that wetting front moving down the slope there quite readily now. You can also add it from the bottom. And you can see it's flowing up the slope there. 
That's that surface tension. Capillary action will pull alcohol, water, any of these liquids will flow upslope or uphill as it were. I'm going to do it on this side as well. I want to get that nice and wet all around here. Got a little bit of dry there. So we're going to head and work it in a little bit more, get some of that. Okay, anything up oh, down at this end, we need a lot more to complete the job here. Now I will warn you about the alcohol. Um, the fumes can get to you after a little while, particularly in a, an enclosed area, in the basement or whatever, wherever you have your layout. So what I do is I typically would set up a small electric fan at one end of the area that I'm ballasting. And that will do two things. It will tend to well, uh, move the fumes away from where you're working so that you won't fall off of your step stool like I almost did. And um, in addition, it will help speed the drying. And, and that really is one of the advantages of using the alcohol as opposed to the wet water. It dries a lot faster and it will help the uh, cement dry out faster. Okay, I'm happy with that at this point, so let's go ahead. I've already put some glue in here, so let's get started. I'm going to start right here, and you can see it flows quite nicely out of the bulb. So you've got a nice reservoir. It's got a much larger reservoir, obviously, than the um, transfer pipette. And you can just keep moving it out in here. Get a good application. You can apply it at the base of the slope here on the shoulder. and Let it flow back up into the ballast on the shoulder of your road bed. So I've done that on both sides here. So we're going to leave that alone for at least uh, 24 hours, sometimes 48 hours, depending on how humid it is. And, you know, keep your fan going and that will help dry it out a lot faster. Once you're done, any loose ballast that tends to end up on the top of your ties or even in the web of your rails, just take your thumbnail and go like this. And even if it's, you know, dried glue that's holding it in place, You'll pop it off. Of course, you'll need to clean out under your fingernails after that. But that's the best way. Do not attempt to make any changes until this stuff dries, because you'll just mess it up, I tell you. There's no way to work with it until it dries. And, and then you can come back and try to clean off the top of these ties. But let me point out that depending on how old the ballast is on a railroad track, you will see ballast on top of the ties because the flangers that they use when they apply ballast do not give you a nice clean manicured look. Okay, so it's been 24 hours. Everything is good and dry here. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a demonstration now of how I go about touching up the edges of the shoulders where we did not get good ballast adhesion. So first I'm going to take some glue. This is Mod Podge, I'm sorry. And what I've done is it's uh, diluted about 10% with just plain water. And the reason I dilute that a little bit is that it helps the glue to stay uh, liquid a lot longer. Uh, if you put it on just the concentrated uh, Mod Podge, it will sometimes dry before you can get all your ballasting done. So by adding just a little bit water, uh, to it, it'll keep it um, keep it moist a little bit longer while you work. So I'm going to take that with my paintbrush here, and I'm just going to paint it on where I want to apply ballast 
where it needs to stick a little bit at a greater angle here. So let's put this on, work it around. There we go. Like so. There. Now, before it starts to dry on me, I'm going to get that off the track. Okay. Just want to take a little bit in a spoon here, and we're going to just dribble it on, tap it on, to that area where we just applied the glue. Because we want to hide that break between the side slope and the cork underlying it. Like that. Oops, here's a little spot right here I want to get just a little bit more glue on. Okay, now, with that, I'm going to go back with my little flat brush and tap it down just a little bit because you tend to get a little bit of a build up there if you're not careful. And we'll work it down the slope so we get a nice smooth transition down the slope here. There we go. And then to set everything in place, I'll get out my pipette and alcohol and we'll wet that area real well so that the glue will spread through it here. Let me work some in from the bottom as well. that. And then get them at medium and go over that one more time where we apply the alcohol. And let it spread down through the matrix here. Okay. Now if you have any areas, like I had one right here, where a little bit too much glue went running down through there, so we'll just cover that up while it's wet and it's taken care of. Now in another 24 hours this will all be dry and done. That's about all I have. Um, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video series and have learned uh, something out of this demonstration uh, for ballasting track.